Hello friends, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel. Today, I am solving one mass Olympiad based question from algebra. Solve square root of x plus square root of y is equal to square root of 2009. x and y are positive integers. So, what is the regular process of solving it? We all know. We take one variable to one side and other variable to other side to make a relation. So I'll do the same thing. I'm, it is a square root function, so I am squaring both the side, and I'll get x is equal to. It will make square. It will be two thousand nine. Here it will be plus y. Minus two times square root of two thousand nine into square root of y, or x is two thousand nine plus y minus two y square root of two thousand nine y. Now, if we we'll analyze this left hand side x, it is a positive integer. It is given the condition, and if we we'll, so, this is LHS. Now we take RHS. Thousand nine is integer. Y is also an integer. Give a positive integer. And the third term is your twice square root of twenty two thousand nine into square root of Y. So this should be also integer. Is to be an integer. So that left hand side is equivalent to right hand side. Now, square root of two thousand nine. Let's factorize this. This is not an even number. It will not go by two. It will also not divisible by three, not five. I am going for seven. So seven, two times fourteen, eight times fifty-six, then seven. Again, it will go by seven, forty-one. So square root of two thousand nine is equal to seven times square root forty-one. This will be seven. Times square root forty-one. So this term twice square root of two thousand nine y can be simplified as two multiply seven square root of forty-one y, or this is fourteen square root forty-one i y. Now. This should be an integer. So, for making an integer, square root of forty-one y must be an integer. So, when it will be an integer? When it will be a forty-one y will be a complete square. So forty one y must be a complete square. It should be some square. Integer. So I am taking y is equal to forty one times m square. Y is equal to forty one times m square. So I'll put here now y is equal to forty one times m square. So with the same logic, I may write this taking y to left hand side.
y is equal to 2009 plus x minus 14 square root 41x with the same logic I can write x is equal to x is equal to 41 n square. So now let us replace in the whole equation under root x plus under root y is equal to under root 2009 it can be written as 7 root 41 then square root of y and square root of x is equal to 41 m square plus 41 m square is equal to 7 root 41 so it will be square root 41 m this will be square root 41 m is equal to 7 40 so square root of 41 I can cancel throughout so what I am getting now I am getting m plus n is equal to 7 so these are the possible values of m n when the sum is 7 and what I have taken I have taken x is equal to 40 x is equal to 41 n square and y is equal to 41 m square and the condition is m plus n is equal to 7 so now apply let us apply our number theory that what are the possible value of m and n m is equal to 0 that time n is equal to 7 so m n is equal to 0 and 7 next m is equal to 1 n is equal to 6 m is equal to 2 n is equal to 5 m is equal to 3 n is equal to 4 m is equal to 4 n is equal to 5 3 m is equal to 5 n is equal to 2 6 n is equal to 1 m is equal to 7 n is equal to 0 so next when m is 0 and n is 7 I will go for x x is equal to here 41 n square 41 n square means 41 into 7 square 41 into 7 square is how much it will be your 2009 really so 2009 and y is equal to 41 m square so it will be 0 y is 0 so one pair of solution is 2009 and 0 next n is equal to 6 so that time x will be 6 square into 49 41 so it will be 1476 that time y is equal to 41 into m square that will be 41 now I hope you can find all the pairs putting in n so this one this is not 14 this multiplication is wrong 476 41 next x is equal to 5 square 25 into 41 it will be 1025 and y is equal to 2 square into 41 it will be 164 so next pair is your 1025 and your 164 next x is equal to 4 4 means 16 multiplies 41 it will be 6 5 6 that time y is equal to 3 square 9 into 49 3 6 9 so another pair is 3 uh, 6 5 6 into 3 6 9 now after this you can just interchange will get the value here x is equal to 
here x will be your from first, second, third, fourth, then I'll go for fifth. 9 into 41, that will be 369. So just interchange now, 369 and 656. 369, y is equal to 656. Next is, x is equal to 164. And y is equal to 1025. So 164, 1025. Next, x is equal to 41. Y is equal to 1476. So 41, 1476. Last one here, x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2009. So how many pairs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Should be 7 pairs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pairs. So thank you for watching.